Hey, hey Aquarius, intuitive soul coach here with your December 2022 love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Aquarius and take a look at all things related to love. Whether you are currently single, perhaps you're partnered up, maybe you're going through a complicated matter with someone close to your heart, or you're just focused on self-love at this time, we will dive into it all. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Aquarius, in the position here of the recent past, we have the birdhouse. This is about your safety and your security. So some of you are building about a new sense of security for yourself. Some of you may have moved, you may have relocated. There could have been a combining of homes or even a separation of homes as well, but there's something here that was affecting your security. And I feel like you've made some big changes around your personal and home life here. There's been some personal developments. There's been a lot of growth and i feel here intuitively that you've been doing some reconstructing here, reconstructing and reconfiguring of relationships in your life, ones that are stable, ones that are more secure, and ones that are more honest, and the ones that maybe need to be tore down, ones that weren't able to withstand the test of time because they were built on a, a faulty foundation here. So there is something in the recent past that you've done to build about a more solid foundation for yourself in matters of the heart. This could be even healing some inner childhood wounding. Some of you may have been left with uh, a new beginning because of a heartache or because of some sort of a loss here. But I am sensing when it comes to your safety and security, I just keep getting the word refiguring here, configuring, excuse me. Uh, so I do feel like there's a new energy coming to the mix when it does come to your home life, your personal life, and things are changing in a very beautiful way for you, especially if you've been going through a period of darkness or a period of maybe a little bit of anxiety or feeling like things were broken or needed to be repaired here because in the present moment Aquarius we have the fire showing up here <clears throat> now some of you your stability may have even been affected by a fire I hope that's not the case Aquarius but some of you I'm getting something was burned or there could have been a loss uh, now it could have been uh, it could be symbolic for, you know, that that phoenix rising from the ashes where there's a, re, a new you being reborn here and you are rebuilding stability for yourself. But we have the fire card, which talks about ambition. It talks about goals and it talks about you reigniting that passion within. So if you are single and you're looking, I do feel like you may have hold yourself up or you've had to do some healing or a deep dive into your belief systems to upgrade and update them. For those of you that are in a relationship, I feel like you may be deciding to take action to reignite that spark, that passion, that fuel and desire within, especially if you've been married for quite some time. I sense here that that you're feeling very ambitious about going into the new year. And Aquarius, your birthday is coming up in January as well. So I do sense that a lot of you are wanting a new go uh, in matters of the heart. And you're telling yourself you want to feel alive. You want to feel that desire and passion. They're giving me Ace of Wands energy. Now, in the near future, you have two cards that came out together. You have the apples card, which is about prosperity and abundance. For uh, And also, we have the canoe, which talks about an upcoming adventure. Now, some of you may be planning a trip for your birthday. This could be a travel, maybe over the holiday season. For some of you, there's something really exciting coming in regarding your prosperity and abundance. It could be a new home as well. Some of you may have been on the search for a new home or you may be relocating. There's definitely, or it could even be a job, even though this is a love reading. 
But I feel like your prosperity and abundance is about to take a turn for the better. And there is some exciting new times coming in for you, especially if you have dealt with some instability and you haven't quite felt safe or secure in your in your home or within your home life or your stability here. Now let's dive into your reading Aquarius and take a look at the heart of the matter. They just gave me the name Joan, Joan. So your name may be Joan or, or it could be Jonah or Jonesy, but I feel Joan is the main energy here. So please take that as it resonates, Joan. All right, what's the heart of the matter here for Aquarius? Your energy coming up, Aquarius. You're feeling spunky. You're feeling excited. You're feeling good about uh, the new goals, the new connections, the new relationships that are coming into your life. You're feeling ambitious. And that's what this Knight of Swords is all about. They are in need of a hero and that is who they become. And if you are in a relationship, I feel like you're taking action. There's some very important decisions that you're making in the month of December that are going to bring about a lot more prosperity and abundance in your life or will contribute to the dynamic of a relationship. And if you are single... I feel like you're getting ready to put yourself out there. You may decide to update uh, your social media profile, maybe go online dating. For some of you, you may be meeting up with a friend for coffee. Uh, now, love can show up in all shapes, sizes, and forms. It can be in the form of a friend. It can be in the form of a pet or a, a, a companion animal. It can be in the form of a love connection uh, in the romantic sense as well as family, siblings, parents, and children. So please take it as it resonates for you. We read love on all levels here in these readings. So the Knight of Swords, there's something you want, Aquarius, and there's something you are going for. Let's take a look at what's crossing your energy in the month of December. What's crossing your energy here? Page of Swords. For some of you, it could be your own children. It could be reaching out and connecting to them. You may decide to make the first move. Uh, for others of you, you may be wrapping up some sort of important lesson or cycle because this Page of Swords, this is also your energy. But I feel like you are kind of between worlds with this page and with this knight. Now, there could be someone coming in that is younger than you as well, uh, but I, I'm getting strongly that there's education, there's knowledge, there's growth, and there's learning. And the challenge for you with this Knight of Swords is acting uh, impulsively or acting too quickly. Now, there could be some energy with... Um, with travel as well. Some of you, there could be a delayed travel or there could be uh, something that you need to really read the fine print about with this Page of Swords. But the Page of Swords can be at times about hearing things from other people, uh, whether it is your own children, whether you do hear someone saying something. Um, they're giving me like a triangle of siblings here or a family dynamic where there's a triangle and it could be a he said, she said type of thing. But I feel like you're taking action to get to the root of a situation. So I feel like you're, you're quite ambitious to solve any sort of miscommunications, gossips, or challenging news. You're getting to the root of it. So I really don't even see this too much as a challenge because you're going to end up on top here. And also, you're planting the seeds. You can see the dandelion here, and I feel like you're planting the seeds towards a new beginning, a new way of being, and a new way of living your life. Let's take a look and see what's below you. What's the foundation? What's in the deep, deep past? Okay, oh, interesting. So, <laughs> I'm smelling here. Now, it could be burnt toast or someone may have uh, spilled maybe something in the oven and it smells like it's burning or maybe the, the crust on the pie uh, may have burnt a little bit on the edge. Uh, now, I don't feel like a whole thing is, is wrecked, but I am smelling uh, burning. Now, either you're cooking something as you listen to this or uh, this may show up in the next uh, couple of weeks where you may have a little bit of charring, charring on your food, but it's still going to be edible. Uh, so please take that as it resonates. All right, uh, let's take a look at the past, the star, a lot of healing, yes. And this is what I was saying here, when it comes to the birdhouse, some of you had to restructure uh, and re, again, configure 
the way that you thought about your safety and stability. And you can see here that this birdhouse it doesn't look very stable. It's standing on a pole here, and one pole that could easily be uh, kicked over or it could easily be bring it down to the ground because I feel like there's some sort of foundation that may have started off rocky or you just didn't feel stable or secure within a union or within a relationship, but you've done some deep healing, and that's why you are coming to a place in December where you're feeling quite ambitious to start again to plant those seeds to put yourself out there and uh, also the star card especially showing up in your deep deep past and foundation here is all about inspiration it's about divine guidance healing hope don't give up on those dreams of love whether some of you have been single for quite some time wanting to manifest your your king or your queen don't give up on those dreams spirit is saying here aquarius because i feel like things are going to start to take shape for you this year or excuse me in 2023 for you even though this is a december reading this can be good for four to eight weeks out but I feel because of your future cards here, you have a lot of abundance coming your way. Some of you may meet someone while you're traveling or meet someone in a new location if you are moving here. Some of you also may be seeing 1111 uh, quite often, which can also be that four of wands energy. But I feel like you're manifesting quickly. Page of Cups. So in the recent past, there may have been a love offer that was presented to you. There was some sort of situation that really touched your heart. And it could have been in a positive way or a negative way. Regardless, this Page of Cups is all about news of something that was quite emotional. Some of you, there may have been a beginning of a new relationship, a reconnection to someone of the past or someone new coming into your life here. They're also giving me family heritage. You may be learning about your uh, your ancestors or you may be learning that you have cousins or siblings out there that you'd never known about here, but I feel like there's new relationships forming. So if there was a recent new friends or a lover or someone uh, that is coming in that's allowing you to be more playful, be more uh, childlike and just have a little more fun, I feel like there's some healing within this dynamic as well. Let's take a look and see what's above you. What's coming in? What's the potential here for Aquarius in matters of the heart? All right, we have here the Queen of Pentacles, Aquarius. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. She's very abundant. She's one of the most abundant queens that there is. Uh, aside from the empress, but I feel like she's someone who definitely attracts prosperity and abundance wherever she goes. And she's actually, uh, she has the bunnies down here, which represent fertility. So whatever you're focusing on developing at this time will grow for you. And this queen of pentacles, she is wifey or hubby material. Even if you don't want to get married, I feel like you're the whole package here, Aquarius. You have a lot to, <clears throat> excuse me, bring to the table. You have a lot to offer, but you know your worth and you're not going to settle for anything less than you deserve. But I feel like you're putting yourself out there. You're feeling good about who you are on the inside, which reflects in your outer world. So the Queen of Pentacles is a very powerful energy coming in for you. Uh, she's very practical, very down to earth. She enjoys uh, being in the presence of others and others enjoy the fruits of her labor. She works hard to keep a lovely home and to host a lovely dinner. So I feel that there could be some holiday gatherings for you this month that you may be contributing to or hosting and other people are really going to love uh, your presence and your energy here. And you may even hear people say, wow, Aquarius, you've changed, or there's something different about you. Even if you haven't physically changed your appearance, people are tuning into the energy within here. And I feel like you have changed. You're, you're more confident is what I feel here. 
Now in the near future, we have the Three of Swords showing up, but it's in reverse, which is great. So the Three of Swords is about you finally making amends with the situation that has been challenging. So for example, let's say you get together with family and you haven't seen a sister or you haven't seen a sibling or a parent or a child for quite some time. I feel like there could be a mending, a healing, a forgiving, or a coming together. Now for others of you, this can be a time where there are people who feel a lot of grief, especially if you are missing someone. I do sense that there is a joyful type of energy. You may be reminiscing about the good times that you've had with the, those that are no longer in this physical world. But I really enjoy that this is showing up as a, a reverse position. I'm just going to pull a card to clarify as well. But I feel like you're making amends. That's what I feel with this Three of Swords card. If you have been left heartbroken in the past because of hurtful words, I feel like you're overcoming it. Because remember, the page of swords can be about someone younger, a child, maybe not not saying yes to an offer or an invitation, or it could be that they're not responding or not connecting with you. But I feel like you may be you may be moving on the best way that you can, healing, forgiving, or coming uh, up to some sort of understanding. Yeah, because there needs to be reciprocity. Whatever relationship this is, or it could be more than one relationship, it may be one-sided for you. And I feel like you're doing your part in the relationship. And sometimes, Aquarius, that is all you can do. You can ask the other person to meet you halfway. You can have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You can forgive. You can mend. You can heal in order to bring reciprocity to the table. And some of you are doing just that. For others of you, you're still able to bring about this sense of belonging and safety and security for those around you. But I feel for some of you, it may be a little more difficult to kind of... Uh, Feel that energy yourself. But with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like there's a gift coming in here for you. There's a gift from the universe. So keep your eyes open. Uh, I feel that I'm not really even concerned about this Three of Swords because you have beautiful, abundant cards here in the future. Now let's see how you're feeling. What is your energy all about? Temperance. Yep. Some of you are waiting. You could be waiting for an apology. You may be waiting to hear from this page of swords. It could be a child or a son. Uh, for others of you, you're waiting to bring in a soulmate. You don't want to enjoy the holidays by yourself. You don't want to uh, be alone. You want companionship. You want connection. You want peace. This temperance card can be about excessiveness as well. So there could be someone in your energy, whoever this page of swords is, they certainly could be older, but they may be very immature. But I feel like this page of swords, they may overindulge during the holidays, whether it's excessive drinking, excessive eating, or just doing things to the extreme. And it may it may leave you feeling a little bit uncomfortable, but I feel like uh, you're able to balance things up. You're able to moderate and temper your feelings and your emotions. I feel like you have a level of self-control that maybe you haven't felt in the past here. And if this is a family dynamic that worries you or concerns you, I feel you'll get through it just fine, Aquarius. Now let's take a look and see what's going on in your external environment. What's going on in the world around you? Wheel of Fortune. There's a turn in your luck. I sense midway through, it could be the 13th on out to December, but there's definitely something positive shifting. There's a turning point in one of your most very important relationships. This is a cycle that is starting to spin forward for the better. Instead of repeating a cycle of the past here, you're coming to this point, a turning point, where there is fate intervening, destiny. Uh, ch you're taking a chance on a person here and I feel like it's paying off. You may be taking a chance on yourself and it's paying off all in divine timing. So it's interesting because you have the temperance here uh, showing up. So you've been patient, but now I see that things are starting to spin forward in a positive direction and it's going to bring about again, more prosperity, more abundance. Some of you, there could have even been a love offer, an engagement as well in the recent past. 
uh, but I do feel like you are planning some adventure, you're feeling excited, and you're not going to let anyone burst your bubble because I feel like you're on this uh, this high that you haven't felt for quite some time and you're feeling good about it. So stay in your own lane here, Aquarius. Enjoy the happy moments. Stay present. Stay in the moment. And don't wait for someone or something to pull that rug out from underneath you because you deserve this happiness. Let's take a look at your hopes and fears. What are your hopes and what are your fears? Queen of Cups. I feel like this has been coming out a lot, but this Queen of Cups is for you to fill your own cup with love. So it overflows and you're able to love everybody around you in a very supportive, healthy way. Now this Queen of Cups gives wonderful hugs, but most importantly, she's empathic, she's intuitive, she's compassionate. She listens to her own intuition and this is your hope for yourself. The fear is, what if I'm too emotional? What if I take something to heart and I let it affect me? What if I'm codependent on someone else's actions or behaviors? I feel like you're getting yourself out of a situation that left you feeling insecure or left you feeling unsafe and you're moving towards freedom, whatever that may look like Aquarius to you. Let's take a look at the final outcome. What is the final outcome in matters of the heart for Aquarius? Okay, uh, they're giving me another name here, Grace, Grace. Now, um, I mean, grace doesn't have to be a name. It can be just uh, feeling the grace. Some of you uh, may be singing a song about grace or maybe you've just seen the word. Uh, please take that as it resonates. I feel like that's Spirit's way of saying uh, that you are all of the Queen of Cups and some. You have that intuitive ability to connect on a deeper level, that you are empathic. You have these beautiful gifts. They are just that, a gift. And sometimes we think of them as a curse, but they're not. And they're telling me as well, there may have been a grandmother that had these same gifts. Uh, there, they may have uh, skipped a generation and passed down, or you may be discovering someone else in the family has these gifts that you do. Final outcome, the strength. This is about you being stronger than you think you are. I feel like you are going to surprise yourself, Aquarius. When this Leo energy comes in, this is about endurance. It's about willpower. It is about compassion, kindness, and being gentle with yourself. You're not self-sabotaging. You're not letting the, excuse me, the weaknesses get in the way or the shadows of other people define your happiness or your fun. I feel like you've actually calmed the energy within, which some may call it the shadows within or the beasts within, but I feel like you've come to a place where you're able to temper, again, temper your emotions, control them. You're able to fixate on more happy moments, happy times versus anxiety, depression, loneliness. You've been through the dark night of the soul. You've been through a lot. And Spirit is saying here, pat yourself on the back because you are reclaiming your power. You have tamed that that beast within here because you've had to endure a lot of challenges here. But you are realizing and you're seeing the physical proof this month that you are stronger than you think. And actually, it's going to change your luck in a very powerful, powerful way. I love this for you. So, all right, let's dive in here and get a message from the wisdom of the oracle. And I will read to you, Aquarius, the relationship message from the guidebook. And also, I'll read to you the protection message as well. For some of you who are feeling like you're not as strong as you think you are, and you absolutely are, uh, you have to the sea. And you also have this upcoming adventure. So some of you are heading towards water. Uh, you may be dreaming of a large body of water. This can be emotions as well. It's Cancerian chariot energy with that seven. Some of you may be born on the seventh. There could be a very significant uh, day around the seventh for you. This is about being in the flow, returning to source recognizing how pieces fit together and it's about the natural pattern of events and the relationship message Aquarius is this there are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another 
Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. And you have ambitious goals right here in your energy. So what a beautiful uh, clarification here for you. The protection message is this. Just for some of you who may be sitting in this three of swords a little bit longer than you would like, I am going to read to you the protection message because I feel like this is what you're leaving behind. Even though it's showing up in the near future, I feel like it's showing up for you to feel it, heal it, and rid yourself of it before you enter into this new chapter of your life, this new year. When external conditions appear to block every attempt to move forward, there is no hidden messages for you to decipher. Like the ocean, the tides of experience ebb and flow. You are in a natural cycle, so know that things will flow again in due course. There is no cause for alarm. Stop resisting and fighting against the situation and learn to flow even when the tide is going out. Relax and trust in the abundance that will soon be within reach. Oh my gosh. And you have literally here, abundance is soon to be within reach. It says an ancient mariner saying applies to you now. When fishermen cannot go to sea, they stay home and repair their nets. So really, really powerful. I love that both of the energies of these cards, of this card, resonate with what you have going on here in the present and in the future. So there's a beautiful configuration happening here for you. So know that everything that is going on in your life, Aquarius, is happening in this divine timing and is actually working out perfectly. Even if it seems imperfect at this time, everything is working out just as it should and abundancy will soon be yours. All right, last but not least, we're going to get a few messages from your spirit animals. And at this time, I ask that you Aquarius, if you can, please close your eyes. Tune into that third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows. Take a deep breath in from the solar plexus chakra. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. It could be an animal that is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. It could be an animal that's recently crossed your path in the great outdoors, or one that's visited through your dreams. And if you need a moment, just pause the video Aquarius and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do, Aquarius, is drop your power animal in the comment box below. And I personally will enter you into that free monthly reading giveaway where I draw one lucky winner around the first of each month and post right back here on the channel. So please make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button if you haven't already. Okay, so right away here, I love this. You have rabbit spirit. You have that rabbit spirit showing up twice. This is something that may come in for you. Now, some of you may be seeing rabbits, whether in the wild, whether on a book or on a movie. And it says now is a lucky time. So remember, this is something that's coming in for you. So if you don't feel like luck is on your side, trust me, it's coming in for you here with the Wheel of Fortune. And it's saying here, pay attention to the prosperity, pay attention to the abundance and the fertility that is yours because it's about to get lucky. Next, we have turkey, turkey spirit. Some of you may have uh, recently celebrated the holidays, Thanksgiving. Uh, for others of you, this is about giving with gratitude and grace. It is about family time, love. Uh, some of you 
you're you're maybe eating a turkey sandwich at this time uh, or you just may be feeling that attitude of gratitude grace abundance i'm getting that name grace again here or some of you may be saying grace as well uh towards the the family meal or you may be just saying grace each night before you go to bed uh, there's something with prayers divine connections and uh, some spiritual energy here for you but give with gratitude and grace with the turkey next we have electric eel it says bring your ideas to life what is it that you want to grow because you have the rabbit this is the time to manifest what you focus your energy and attention on will grow so bring those ideas to life and lastly aquarius flamingo spirit says embrace the in-between you may be feeling like you're going in between uh, stages at this time or you may feel with the knight of swords that you're really taking action but yet there's still a little bit of tempering of emotions or feelings some of you may be moving from one location to another or you're just going from 2022 to 2023 so there is an in between or embracing an energy here but the flamingo is a very positive omen of happy times to come more abundant so you may be actually gravitating towards uh you know not feeling secure or safe within your situation to more security safety and abundance you're heading in a positive direction one that's more playful one that's more fun and more aligned with where you want to be going on your soul's journey that is what i have for you aquarius i hope it resonates if so please feel free to hit that thumbs up button it certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most feel free to share like comment drop your power animals in the box below and hit that subscribe and bell button if you haven't already thank you so much aquarius for tuning in lots of love and light